Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today uh, we are coming from Automation's channel once again because uh, this is part of the little dev update. Um, but as that requires a bit of work for me to play, uh, I'm just putting the in-between stuff on here. So I hope you appreciate that and we shall get into playing a quick game where we make, uh, well, we won't continue it, it's just like the first episode so to say I'm going to speed through and give a little bit of commentary in between but we are making a delivery car maker in Gazmia which is probably the easiest start you could ever have to a game it's super simple there's very little tech concerns and suspension tuning required in order to make this work so yeah let's uh, get into that I chose for fuel system tech because we want to be reliable mainly not necessarily um, really that good at uh, economy that's a secondary concern and a little bit of brake tech to have right from the start this is pretty much useless later but because I'm just playing the starting phase here that doesn't really matter and I'm going to cho choose uh, Herbert Grün because he's my favorite staff member look at him he is such a handsome fella all right uh, I made this set up pretty easy here so that we can start out with a medium factory right away and shovel in the cash and um, competitiveness is at one and the markup a little bit harder than usual so uh, our competitors have 90% of their usual markup which makes them more difficult because they are ch selling for cheaper all right let's get going and uh, well, hello there, familiarity. You um, should go away. We are not investing anything into this just yet. We are waiting for our first car to finish because this is really expensive at the start. We need to have some constant cash flow going to really start investing into it. All right, so we need to make a new car and that's very simple. We just go here and here and now speeding through this, you want to extend this because that gives you, if you put up the log on the screen, like the little uh, other window which automation gives you, it actually shows you, I think it does, it shows you what uh, cargo space it has calculated. This really needs to be a tooltip in here, but it currently isn't and it will be in the future, but yeah, so just good like this we want to make it big ladder steel just make it standard leaf for uh, maximum load capacity steel and then we slap a grill on the front gti grill yeah look at that and oh right uh, 240 is about what you are aiming for here because you want to have a lot of cooling for for the engine which doesn't really require it and we're just building one trim one model uh, one engine keep it simple just straightforward we are putting in an inline free push rod engine just keep it like a super simple build and so successful so 1.5 liter inline free we are aiming for compression 7 I think and uh, cam profile 28 and then naturally aspirated single eco carb that's one of the only limiting factors later on like in the 60s you want to switch or uh, yeah for the 60s you want to switch over to dual carb and an inline four so that you can have two of these otherwise you are going to strangle your engine and we are running this at 15.0 like 55 here and this thing doesn't rev so we have Herbert Grün who's helping us a lot here and I'm going to go with quality 10 yes quality 10 doesn't make this very expensive just look at this 177 dollars and that's not too bad and also what we want to do is up this to free we are having a push rod head which is still very easy to engineer and plus three just helps us with the valve float a little bit so that we can rev as high as the pistons are letting us so to say and uh, cast yes we are not going to make lots of power 45 maybe maybe a little bit more uh, I'm not so sure maybe this should be at one and there we go we need to lower this a few steps and here we have it 47.6 reliability from an engine in 1946 that's pretty amazing 
and we just need to up the compression two steps or three there we go and this up and s engine done so now for the rest of the car super quick that too like this we want to have a gear spacing which is good for getting started and we do want a little bit of overdrive third gear going to 100 i know performance isn't really an issue in the early years but um, this is still good to have we want to have a first gear that is as low as possible because this is a utility vehicle then we want to have uh, the third gear basically go to 100 and uh, quite a bit of overdrive for uh, for the last gear just to save some fuel down here at cruising speeds and 137 well we don't need the top speed it's all good so now uh, we want to use hard long life tires just max this size and you can put a little bit of quality in here if you wanted to just to get to 145s but I don't think it's really required for us to do so so let's adjust this again um, we don't really have the brakes to make use of that extra grip anyway and here we are at the brakes and uh, as you can see we do need maximum here oh well you can't see it but I know that we will need the maximum here and also plus two just isn't enough that's why we chose a little bit of tech pool so that the additional points don't hurt quite as bad and a plus six here is decent enough uh, we have 60 kilojoules of cooling that's why I wanted to have 240 because uh, that is exactly four times as much I had to think there oh my god don't do math on stream uh, not on stream but while recording um, so exactly you know four times as much and four times is a very nice figure to have to, in order to just amp up reliability like crazy two seats basic none none no not none none uh, we want to go with the standard and standard 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 comfort make this just a little bit stiffer and get those to free and then 100 100 just to have a good starting point just up this one for now so that you don't have to worry and now the car is finished and we have a good starting point this is still oversteery as fuck but um, that can be easily fixed just go down enough here so that the bug doesn't hurt you or frustrate you and this setup is going to be used and let's see we do want to have less grip in the rear more grip in the front let's go with this and see oh that was a little bit too much more grip there we go and less camber in the front and there we have the 1.0 uh, 42 drivability and as you can see from the uh, competitiveness score we are doing pretty well uh, for a uh, rating that was a difficulty rating that was so high so in the markets yep 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 we are going to take that 30% slap on and we are still doing really well but that might be because there's no competition released in recent years uh, take that with a grain of salt engineering yes as you can see here we have no familiarity yet this is the familiarity bonus you get to engineering this is all zero right now and that is because we have never engineered one of these projects all right so we want to engineer this let's say we want to have it go for exactly uh, two years there we go two years and here Herbert Herbert where are you yes Herbert look at him such a beautiful little man and that reduces engineering time so much that we can amp up the reliability even more now we have an engine with 56 reliability in 1946 and those delivery car buyers they really like reliability okay medium factory it is or medium plot at least and uh, medium plot here as well although we don't really need for the engine factory a medium factory so I would start out with lower automation levels just so that we make it a little bit more uh, affordable as you can see that really hurts the price though average production cost so you don't want to go haywire on this uh, medium one should work out small three is just enough to build enough cars 
and here the uh, average production costs are not hurting as badly. So we can, ah, oh, yeah, and we can reduce tooling quality a little bit. 35. Okay, now that is much more reasonable overall. And uh, there might even be enough left over. Uh, we can take a look at the total costs at the sign off screen. And then we decide if we want to in put a little bit into tech pool, uh, like research, so that we get a better uh, car in the next turnover. Okay, shifts, uh, shifts, let's see, does this work out? Engines, yep, exactly, so now you have, you can produce more cars than engines. This is not necessarily recommended to put it to three shifts, but right now we are kind of limited and uh, that costs us quite a bit of margin because just look at the price increase that's another 400 bucks right on top there that 400 bucks really hurts as uh, that is getting multiplied by our markups and so on so let's just make it 2.5 shifts here to not uh, overdo it and now we are ready so 30 percent markup that's good still doesn't cost very much Family one, variant one, model one. Okay, simple enough. Gasmia, yep, demand 2.0. Um, looking good, looking good. Now we have a total, grand total cost of 743 million. And uh, let's sign this off. Um, no, because this isn't working yet. If you want to skip to production then you cannot do research right now which is just a limitation of the closed beta that's why it isn't open yet because everything is broken uh, well not not really not really everything it's working pretty well already and so no we didn't want to jump it but we want to do uh, what we want to do is for instance get a little bit more of a tech ball for instance in top end to uh, engineer our push rods a little better and uh, don't really need it in bottom end don't really need it in fuel system maybe drivetrain a two there and suspension uh, interior yeah yeah let's let's put a little bit into interior as well um, and what I'm going to do now is like drivetrain put put those to free and that increases it slowly towards free until it almost reaches free but it will never really really reach free at the funding level free it will be like 2.95 and then you really stagnate there so you need to in order to get this boost you need to uh, invest a little bit more into that and so what I'm doing is give it a funding level of free until I reach a tech of two and then cut it to two and then it will stay at two so um, that's how we are rolling this costs three million a month that's a lot of money now let's run with this for a while and see if we go bankrupt or not so now we are running and you can see it increase and there you saw the tick over for the year even though it wasn't the end of the year yet so these have ticked over already and now at the end of the year you will see all the others tick over as well. And there everything is 1947. Now we have tech pool 1 in these if we design a car. These have already ticked over to 1947, uh, 1948 of course. And now I need to go back to the production hub because this is almost ready. And now we are in production and indeed we are not bankrupt yet, which is a bonus. And now let's see how well this thing sells. Okay, we sold everything. That's a good start. Let's revise and see how much we can jack up the price. So demand is 144. Let's up it. Wow, okay. We can really get rolling here. 44? Nah. Let's... Um, Let's put it to 50 actually because our markets will be expanding anyway and then we have a little bit of build up and overall we are selling at a higher uh, profit margin. So now let's just up the shifts a little bit. Um, yeah, I think this is still good because we have so much money lying around. Ah, this familiarity thing is always getting in the way. Um, Alright, 
So now let's produce until 1950 and then upgrade our factories and take a look at our R&D. We are soon ready to drop off the funding to level two. And now one thing that should have popped up here is this. Well, yeah, you can say <laughs> this one isn't quite working yet. But here you see what you have engineered. And I think it's still a little bit wrong in places, um, but that will be fixed probably today. And so here you see all the engine components we have engineered at once. All these have been engineered once. This column will be replaced by the percentage you um, have in familiarity, which means how much percentage is cut off your engineering time. And here we are almost at tech pool 2. Well, almost. Still far away, but at the end of the year we should be really close. Alright, gained lots of reputation there and lost prestige. That's uh, not surprising at all. And soon we are ready to cut funding. Let's see, 2 and let's roll another month. There we go, 2.3 and now I drop it back to 2. Save me, um, how much is that? 1.5 million a month. And it will now very, very, very slowly drop back to 2. So that's handy. And I am I want to approach it from the upper end because uh, that means that I can, once the year ticks and gives me the auto pause function, I know that I can design a car with um, without waiting another day or two or something. So uh, that is why I'm doing, uh, why I want to approach it from the top. Alright, uh, now we could put into other categories as well, but um, for now I'm kind of happy with this. And we have built up quite a bit of stock here, for three months to be correct, uh, and that is a little bit too much. Uh, let's drop it back to 45%. That's still a little bit of stock buildup, but uh, we're getting into more categories, expanding them quicker. Yes, yes, familiarity. I know you are there. And our sales. Our sales are pretty good and increasing our market share. Our market awareness, uh, rather. And I want to design a new car in 1950. Well, let's forward then to then. All right, let's take a look here. We have two tech pool in a lot of things now. And in order to keep it up, we only spend 1.5 million a month. And now I want to design a new car to replace this one. And uh, this is basically the exact same build I'm going to do now. So uh, don't need commentary there. Just expanding uh, this one to the rear and this and this and give it a little bit more color space. And there we go. Well done, same build here. So now you see here we have two tech pool available to us now. Yay! So we can put in like plus four without hurting too bad. And the engineering time we are going to save with this is pretty nice because that we can put, put back into engineering it for longer to get more reliability, to get even more reputation, or better reputation. More isn't necessarily better, is it? And here, plus 10 and once again, and muffler go crazy small, one is fine, reverse flow is available now. We could go baffled once again, and that would give us a slight bonus to engineering time. Because we've engineered it once before, that gives us 10% uh, off. So, um, that's a significant bonus. But 52 horsepower, sounds good to me. Uh, this is almost perfect. Let's go with this, and it's not knocking. Nice, alright, engine done. Same thing here. Want to expand this down again, and I think this is good. We are topping out at 100 at third, and this is below 40 for the first gear. It's all good. We have now tech pool in here, making it a little bit nicer overall, better um, delivery of power, so the car overall is a little bit more efficient, which is nice. Less drivetrain losses, hard long life tires once again. 
And now we uh, naturally get the 145s here. And I'm going to drop it down to 135s to start out with. And just put those wheels out a little bit. Like this. All right. And a two, two shoe. Two leaning shoe drum brakes. Awesome. That helps a lot. We can have plus five here once again. Oh, I never really checked that before, right? The uh, the brake uh, brake tab for this one again. That might have been a mistake, but uh, we'll see how well this works out here. I think it's pretty good. Oh yeah, 240 once again. We have about the same cooling, so it's a factor four. And uh, two seats, basic. Now we have plus two here. So we make our basic really awesome. And uh, advanced 50 safety, not really a thing we need. Not for this category. Comfort, just put this up. Same tuning as last time. There we go, 45. 45, 90 there. We do need a little bit, 4.2, a little bit more stiffness here. One. And there we have 4.0, which is pretty much optimal for a car like this. And now for the brakes. Oh, over braking. Ah, oh, no, no, that's nice. Let's pull this down a little bit. Like 50? Does it? No, that 50 is a little bit too low. And this certainly needs to go down to 50 as well. And all good. Yes. Uh, gearing is still in order. Yes. And we don't have much wheel spin for uh, out of our powerful, powerful inline free. Nope, that's all good. So the car is sitting ready with a massive, massive acceleration time of 19.1 seconds to 100 kilometers an hour. Pretty good for truck, I guess. And uh, drivability really high, uh, utility pretty high, and especially it's really high for these markets. This is of course before production. Now we have a lot more competition in these markets. And uh, that makes it a bit harder to get these insane scores I had for the first model. But we put it through production, we're making lots of money too. And uh, let's first go engineering, let's make it two years once again. No, oh, I could even put it up to almost... Yeah, let's do two years and ten months just to get this insane reliability. And uh, there we go. Maximum here. Habert, where are you? There. Habert Grün with the missing U. And uh, funding can be pulled because Habert still doesn't care. As you can see here, there's a happiness stat for this guy. And that's not being filled, so that's what the funding slider will do. If you just cut his funding and tell him, like, go fuck yourself, engineer this as fast as possible, as reliable as possible, but we don't give you any money, then, um, yeah, he's kind of pissed. Right, you're reusing the same factory, and now we can upgrade it a little bit. A little, little bit. This is just 28 million, plane up... Um, just retooling we can up it to a second level factory and I think we can even afford to go crazy like this here I certainly don't want to do that uh, let's choose a lower tooling quality just to dampen the costs a little bit because that's it's a lot it's a lot a lot of money we have to earn in that short amount of time we have 300 million in the bank, but overall that is an expensive project. And we have the research costs ongoing now as well. Okay, we're doing really well here with a 30% markup now that we are for the factory. Um, looking good. And still demand ratio and shit we don't really care about until this is, uh, thing is actually in production. So let's keep it like this. And overall 500 million cost. Yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, that should be doable with uh, our current income. And now we just need to speed through until the second model goes into engine. Oh no, into production. But I think that is enough for this little let's play. I'm going to make a uh, two episode out of this. And um, well, I guess you've already seen the, uh, the little dev update, which shows how it all ends but um, if you're interested in um, seeing the rest of it then uh, sure make sure to check in tomorrow or something so all right hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time